See, man, this is what I mean. Because we are now watching games and because we are actually seeing these players go out there and compete against one another, it opens the door for some very interesting discourse, especially that that takes place between two rival fan bases. I wanted to expand more on yesterday's Montreal versus Toronto game, which we did make a post-game video about. The Leafs end up winning 2-1. It was a pretty boring game, pretty bad game I'd say from the Montreal Canadiens POV, although Jakob Dobes was very, very good as a goaltender that only allowed two goals against pretty much the main Toronto Maple Leafs core, minus Austin Matthews and inevitably William Nylander, cough cough thanks Nick Robertson. But from yesterday's game, even though it wasn't really the most entertaining from a Canadian's point of view, there were still some performances that we can acknowledge were great. And in particular, the best skater for Montreal on the ice was none other than the topic of today's video. Lane Hudson, everybody. We've been talking about him a ton. The last time the Leafs and the Habs played off against each other in the Prospects game, Hudson was an absolute monster, dominating the play with his offensive IQ, his skills, and his edge work. Heading into yesterday's game against Toronto, Habs fans were more or less expecting similar things. And that is pretty much what we ended up seeing. While Hudson wasn't as dominant against the NHL-caliber Maple Leafs compared to when he was playing against the Maple Leafs prospects, he was still good and by far the best defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens in the game. With this in mind, though, I wanted to open the floor to some discourse that I've been seeing getting tossed out there online, in particular by these two rival fan bases. Because, of course, we always gotta give a spotlight to what the folks are talking about the reason we're talking about this is because of, firstly, you had yourselves the penalty drawn by Lane Hudson on Max Domi. This was the cross-check to the back, and honestly, it was like the most uncalled-for thing that we may have ended up seeing in the game. The picture here comes from USA Today Sports, and... I mean, look, it's a bad picture. It really is. I want to use it for the thumbnail of this video, honestly. It's just that unlucky. But when we saw this hit go down, Domi got penalized, the Habs had a power play, nothing came out of it, it's whatever. But I wanted to expand more on the idea of Lane Hudson being a potential target. Because as a result of this hit, there were some conversations that sparked up as to whether or not this hit, while illegal, actually served a purpose. This is on the Montreal Canadiens subreddit Conky Donk went out there and said this. The cross-check worked for Max Domi, because Lane Hudson was definitely more tentative after Domi cross-checked him late. He then says that the referee didn't call it, which is wrong because the referees did call it, and neither Pizzetta or Jacai made Domi pay. Bit disappointing, but I guess it is a welcome to the NHL kind of thing. Another reply goes out there and says, I did think that we missed an opportunity to show the league that if you do anything dirty to Hudson, you will pay the price. Domi was a bit too much of a crap disturber out there, and with Pizzetta and Jackai both in the lineup, someone should have put him in his place. They tried multiple times, but Max Domi would not. Yeah, Max Domi being a pest, not surprising. He was a Canadian for so long, I don't think any Habs fans should be all too surprised to see that result. But I wanted to expand more on that idea that post-Domi cross-check, Lane Hudson might have been a bit more tentative, he might have been a bit more careful in how he moves around in the offensive zone and everything. There were a few moments throughout the past few weeks in different games where Hudson would maybe get knocked to the ground a little bit. And this cross-check is one of the uglier ones, I would say, especially looking at it from that still frame. But what I also wanted to do was use this as an opportunity to talk about how Lane Hudson might not have actually been too perturbed by this. Another post by the Canadian sub folks goes out there and says that Hudson led the Habs with 25 minutes and 47 seconds in ice time in the game against Toronto. Now that doesn't really scream, oh, this guy got scared of playing and was a little bit sensitive about his deployment afterwards. No, it seems like the guy was able to go out there, take charge, and still continue maneuvering around the zone and doing his thing like we're used to seeing him doing. 
And furthermore, there are some replies in the comments. Almost 26 minutes against a mostly full NHL roster, and he was one of the best players on the ice. I can't wait to see him with our full lineup. If you look at the Maple Leafs game day thread, what the folks in our Maple Leafs were saying, they were spamming about how much Hudson would get plastered in a regular NHL game. One walnut even said that he's like a bug on a windshield. And this is why I wanted to make this video. Because of the entire notion that was percolating through Maple Leafs Nation yesterday that Lane Hudson, Montreal Canadiens' phenom of a prospect, may actually just be a bug on the windshield. And how, if he plays off against Ryan Reeves or Yoni Hockenpah or any rough, tough, physical guy, he's just going to get knocked off the puck. It's going to be Max Domi coming in there and cross-checking the guy down. And it'll make Hudson be a little bit bit more careful and not as assertive. Ha ha! Big, strong bullies in the NHL going out there and taking over once more, right? That's kind of the idea that I feel from those sorts of comments. Oh, Hudson's just a bug on a windshield. We shouldn't be worried about that guy. Imagine if he plays in a full NHL game. Honestly, I think it's just kind of Leafs fans being Leafs fans and being a little bit delusional and potentially salty that Hudson was a second round pick eventually becoming a Canadian steal. But at the same time, I do think it is worth pointing out that concerns or let's just say thought processes, processes? Yeah, I think that's right. I don't know. Thought processes like that do and will continue to exist until Lane Hudson plays a full 82 games in a regular season and looks very good and very maneuverable in the process. Quinn Hughes had a very similar profile in his first few years. Hey, he's too small, he's gonna get knocked off the puck, even if he's got these skills, even if he's got this skating ability, even if he's got that edge work. All it takes is one Tom Wilson to go out there and knock his pants off, and all of a sudden, boom, he's going to be too scared to try it again. But for smaller players with edges like Adam Fox, like Quinn Hughes, like potentially Lane Hudson, these are the guys that stand the most to gain when it comes to learning how to maneuver around NHL players in this way. Because, look, if any other small defenseman in the NHL, if a Victor Mete, for example, was going out there and he got knocked off the puck, yeah, okay, there's like the bug in the windshield kind of comparison, because you don't really expect Victor Mete, of all people, to be able to evade waves of highly pressurized physical forechecking. I would expect Quinn Hughes to be able to evade that. He's shown that he can. Lane Hudson, while I believe he is capable of doing it, he hasn't had a full 82 NHL game season to show that off to its fullest capacity. All we have to go off of now is the fact that he did get knocked over by Max Domi as a cross-check, and despite having that happen to him, he still went out there and played very well. To end off this conversation, I wanted to refer back to that R. Habs comment thread discussing how the Maple Leafs fans are going out there and saying that Hudson's like a bug on a windshield. Let them have this one. We know how it's going to go. The first round playoff exit, TSN will go. It's time to blow out the big four. They'll go. We believe in the squad. They signed some has-beens in the offseason. This is the year, rinse and repeat, like they have been doing since the big four were signed. Yeah, um, I think I just want to be mean to Maple Leafs fans. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How fair do you think these concerns are for Lane Hudson, and do you think they actually are worth talking about? I hope you enjoyed this British Astros 99, and bye.